Freaks. This is Steve Says, episode number 104. And today we're talking about being your freak self, being yourself. Are you living your life as a freaking fraud? Or are you operating as your freak self? And as you know here on Steve Says, it's not always what you want to hear, but it's the shit you need to hear. We are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. This week we're talking about are you living your life or are you living someone else's life? And do you have, do you feel like you have personal freedom in your everyday life? On top of that, are you operating as your true freak personal self in general? Steve says this is episode number 104 is a live show on how to have a no excuses badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles preventing your success in your health, your family, your finances, so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own freaking terms. We're always focusing on the mind, the body, and the business in that order. In that order. It's about having a role model mindset, how to operate with discipline, energy, confidence, to be an action taker, and be your freak motherfucking self. This is what it's all about, adapting and overcoming, trusting the process, and of course, making no excuses. Steve says, episode number 104, let's freaking do it. So we're talking today about being, we hear the word all, all over the, the internets and stuff about authenticity and being real and, and all this all this cool shit you see on quotes and all this other stuff on the Instagrams and the MySpaces and all over the, the social media, but... Usually, that stuff is all just bullshit. What's up, Crawl from Scranton, PA? We're talking about being your freak self, not operating as a fucking fraud, and what is the actual framework to the freak code that we we have here in the peak freak world. We're going to break break that down. And what's a freak? So a freak... If, if you, the definition of a freak is is a person who's physically deformed or transformed due, due to some extraordinary bodily medical condition or body modification, that's the actual definition of a freak. And it's also could be known as a monster or abnormal or a weirdo or a fucking mutant, an anomaly, a rarity, something in rare form would be a freak. So those are all other words for freak, like literally what's in the dictionary on dictionary.com, thesaurus.com. But then if you, so those are synonyms. Here's your English freaking lesson for today. Those are synonyms for freak. Think about that. Monster, abnormal, weirdo, mutant, rarity, and anomaly. Also freak could be to behave or in, in a wild and irrational way because of effects of extreme emotion or mental illness or drugs. Listen how fucked up that word freak is. Like... To me, that's not a freak is. But those are what, listen to all that shit. Uh, extreme emotion, mental illness, drugs. I've never touched a drug in my fucking life, believe it or not. Imagine if I did. If I'd snorted cocaine or something, what it would look like up here. But a freak is also a monster, an abnormal, and a weirdo, a fucking mutant. This is what it says. You look it up on dictionary.com. But then you look at an antonym. So if you 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 smart guys out there, that didn't pay attention in English class. A synonym is a word that's similar to a word. An antonym is a word that's the opposite. So if you look up what are the opposite words, the antonyms. This is, you're getting your education here on Steve Says. Episode number 104, suckers. The antonyms of freak. Listen to this. So the synonyms were monster. And I got to keep saying, because I want this shit to sink in. The synonyms were monster, abnormal, weirdo, mutant, rarity, and anomaly. Now, if you flip it and you go to the antonyms, the opposite, listen to what the opposites were. Conformity. The opposites of freak are normality, regularity, commonality, ordinary, average. So how is one a monster, a weirdo, and a mutant, but the opposite of that is just regular, common, ordinary, average, and conformity? You're conforming motherfuckers out there right now these days, right? Some disgusting conformity going on on a massive scale. Conformity. So if that's the opposite of being a freak, listen, conformity, normally, regularity, commonality, ordinary, average, damn fucking right I want to be the opposite of that bullshit. Damn fucking right I want no part of that. 
Conformity? Commonality? Ordinary? Average? No fucking thank you. But think of how fucked up that is, that that's the opposite of what they're calling. So if you're not conforming, and you're not normal, and you're not ordinary, and you're not average, what that means is you're a fucking monster. You're a weirdo. You're a mutant, according to dictionary.com and thesaurus, whatever, the thesaurus.com. Like, this is some smart people, apparently smarter than folks like me that created this shit. That the opposite of a monster and a weirdo and a mutant is ordinary and average and conformity. So basically, even the fucking internet is telling you if you are not conforming, you're a monster. You're a weirdo. You're a fucking mutant. If you don't put the face diaper on when you're driving your car by yourself, you're a fucking mutant. Think of that shit. Think about that shit. How fucking stupid that shit is. How, how if you don't put your mask on while you're waiting in your restaurant, but once you get seated, you can take it off. If you don't do that, you're an anomaly. You're a rarity. You're fucking abnormal. You're a monster. Fucking monster. Because you won't cover up your identity. Shit, when I was a kid, we were getting chased around by the cops because we were wearing masks. Now you get chased around by the cops because you're not fucking wearing masks. Don't even make any sense. Like the fucking Twilight Zone. Anyway, next next is going to be not conforming to get j- jabbed with that freaking the, that needle in your ass. That's what it's going to be about next. You're a monster. You're a fucking weirdo. You're a mutant. You're a freak because you didn't get some mandatory vaccine that you're forced to take that we have to pay people to take we have to give away fucking cheeseburgers and give away beers and bribe people to fucking take because it's so great for you and then we're going to protect you from the people that are not stuck with that jab anyway besides the point we're getting off track here we're getting all worked up here because we just finished off a workout we're all fired up let's go back to the freak let's go back to the freak so i want to break down the freak template F-R-E-A-K. The freak template. What is a freak? So the F, and and then I'll go, I'll circle back around and break these all down. The F is for freedom. A freak has freedom. The R in freak is for a role model. The E in the freak is enthusiasm. The A is attitude, motherfucking attitude. And the K is kill. We will break all those down. Oh my God, he said kill. Oh my God, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. So let's break all those down. Let's go back to the F. So F-R-E-A-K. Freedom, role model, enthusiasm, attitude, and kill. So let's break it down. Start with the F. The F. The F in freak is for freedom. Because a freak is a free motherfucker. A freak is making their own decisions, making their own choices, living life on their own terms. They have courage. They, they, you know other, other words actually for freedom? Our ability, immunity, opportunity, flexibility, power. Those are words for freedom. Think about that. Immunity. Freedom is immunity. Freedom is fucking opportunity. Freedom is ability to do what the fuck you want to do. Last I saw, I lived under that thing, under that flag. I was a free motherfucker. And freaks are free. That's why the F in freak is for freedom. Living life on your own motherfucking terms. Marching to the beat of your own drum. Freedom to be yourself. Freedom to not give a fuck what everyone thinks about you. To build the not give a fuck muscles. I train those motherfuckers every day. That's what the the, the F and the freedom is for. Freedom to say fuck them all. Freedom to say that the, the people who aren't on board with you and the way that you are and what you stand for. Fuck them all. That's what the F is for. You can say freedom. You can say fuck them all. Whatever you want to say. Not building up the not give a fuck muscle. Hooper duper. What's going on? Freak show. So that's the F. F is for freedom. The R in freak is for role model. What's a role model? Well, to break it down in project terms in the project that we run, the men's personal development program here in Southern California, is to be a role model. The, The overall, the role model mindset is to become the type of man that one day your son would want to become and the type of man that one day your daughter would want to marry if you let her out of the house before she was 45 years old. I used to say 40, we bumped it up to 45. We're progressing. We're evolving. Anyway, role model. Be, be, becoming a role model. Being, having influence and persuasion. 
not just on your family and your kids, but the people you lead, your community, the people around you, fucking strangers in the grocery store, leaving that stamp on them where they want to emulate you. Influence and persuasion. Think of influence and persuasion a little differently. The way I see it and the, the freak version of seeing influence and persuasion, influence is the way that you are, the way you're operating, leading by example, it's more passive. You're influencing people by your actions, by the way you are, and they want to emulate you. Persuasion is more, more aggressive, more active. Actually speaking, think of, of, of influence as showing and persuasion as telling. You're persuading someone how to do something, how to be, how to live life on their own terms, how to be their freak motherfucking self by being a role model. That's what a role model is. Some of the people want to emulate that, that your kids and your community, being, being a role model with your health and your fitness and your wellness, the way you take care of yourself, your habits and your work ethic. That's what a role model is. That's what a role model mindset is. The R in the freak, which leads us to the E. The E in the freak is for motherfucking enthusiasm. Enthusiasm in all you do. You've heard the saying, how you do anything is how you do everything. Listen, when you, you're going out to get the mail, you go get the mail like a motherfucker. We, we brawl here when we go get the mail. Because that's how we do things. That's be our freak nature. Doing it with enthusiasm. You're coming onto a video, you do it with fucking enthusiasm. Listen, let me tell you something. If you're not where you want to be in your career, whatever level you're at in your career, in your business, if you're a business owner or you're in your career, whatever that job is that you have, whatever it is, do that like a motherfucker. Because guess what? There's always room at the top for the best. From Tom Bilyeu, the, the founder of Quest. There is always room for the, at the top for the best. Do your shit with enthusiasm. You're, you're, you're sweeping floors? Be the best motherfucking floor sweeper on this side of the Mississippi motherfucking river. Do it with enthusiasm. Do it with style, with class, with excellence. Full of fucking energy and fire and passion and everything you fucking do. Bring in your own energy, being infectious, being the fucking best you in every single situation, in all that you fucking do. Fucking intensity and passion in what you're doing. That's enthusiasm. That's the E in freak. So, so far we have freedom, we have role model, and we have enthusiasm. Let's go to the A in freak. The A is for attitude. Fucking attitude. And, and, We've talked about attitude before as in like a positive attitude, having a good attitude in all you're doing. Yes, a freak always has a positive attitude. We're not talking about attitude. You know, there's different ways to think of the word attitude. We're not thinking on that side as much. of We're thinking attitude as in your approach, how you show up, how you carry yourself, how you feel about yourself, what you think about yourself when you're by your motherfucking self. That's attitude, having confidence and courage, being obsessed with fucking excellence. Attitude in how you attack. Attitude in your approach to everything. Attitude how you attack your fucking day. How you attack suffering. Attitude how you talk to yourself in your fucking head. Attitude how you carry yourself. How you walk into a room. How you take command of a situation. That's fucking attitude. With your head up, your chest out, your shoulders back and down, your chin tucked, your eyes forward, with a little pop in your fucking step. When you walk into one side of a room, it's fucking felt your enthusiasm and the attitude that you're bringing into that, that room is felt on the other side of the room before motherfuckers even see you. The universe is sending that through. That's a fucking attitude. An attitude that the universe can fucking feel. Enthusiasm that the universe can feel. That's a motherfucking freak. That's a freak. Being Having the attitude of courage. The attitude of in your head, how you're telling yourself, telling yourself, I am fucking awesome. That's what a freak tells himself. That's the confidence a freak has. That's what I said right before I come on here live. That's what I say hundreds of times a day. That's what I tell hundreds of people a day is you are fucking awesome. And I tell myself, I am fucking awesome. First thing I say, my feet hit the floor of my cave. The alarm goes off. The rule is your feet hit the fucking floor of the cave before you even turn the alarm off. You pop up with enthusiasm for the motherfucking day, with an attitude to approach the day and attack the day and tell myself, I am fucking awesome. I am worth it. I am a warrior. Today is fucking awesome. Life is fucking awesome. That's the attitude. Attitude of fucking gratitude for where you are, what you have, what you've accomplished already. Not bitching and moaning and crying about your situation and what's going on. Fucking attitude. Of, of course, a positive attitude. A fun, wild, crazy, fucking energetic, enthusiastic attitude. An attitude of controlled aggression. That's the attitude. 
attitude that runs towards a fucking gunfire while everyone wants a rape man. That's the attitude. Just a, a badass motherfucker attitude. Some courage. Not afraid to stand up for yourself. Not afraid to stand up for other people. That's the attitude. So the F was freedom. The R was role model. The E was enthusiasm. And the A was attitude. Leads us to the K. Four letter word K. Kill. Now we're talking about killing that inner bitch voice that tells you to conform. Conform. You know, the, the antonym of freak. Of con conformity. The, 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 the thought in your head to kill. The thought of being average. The thought of being ordinary. The thought of being mediocre. Kill fear, doubt, procrastination. Kill motherfucking hesitation. Kill that inner bitch. Kill the laziness that's in you. Kill the approval seeking that you have. Kill your emotional fucking reactions. And kill your motherfucking excuses. That's the K for freak. That's what it is. When you live by this code, this is the freak code. This is the freak framework. You live by this. Life is fucking good. Life is fucking free. Life is fulfilling. Life is fucking fun. Just lots of fucking F words around there. It's a personal freedom. It's boundaries you set for yourself. Like, listen, motherfucker, here I am. I say it all the time. I'm planting my freak flag in the ground right here. You don't like the banner that I'm fucking waving? You don't like the banner that I'm waving? The freak flag that I'm waving? Get the fuck out of here and go somewhere else. Go that away. Not here, motherfucker. You're going you're gonna to attract your like-minded freaks. You're going to repel those ordinary, average, slacking, approval-seeking, passive-aggressive, whining, complaining, finger-pointing, little bitch-ass motherfuckers is what you're going to do. Please repel those. Like, being a freak is like a bug spray to little bitches. That's what being a freak is. You, you live by this freak framework, this freak code. It's like spraying repellent to bitch-ass motherfuckers on you. That's what it's like doing. That's what it is. It's the role model. It's being unique. It's being yourself. It's authentic as it's all over the place. Authenticity. You hear about it, but no one fucking does it. It's marching to the beat of your own drum. It's not giving a fuck what people think of you. It's living life on your own terms. But of course, doing it with humility and courage. Yeah, it might be polarizing. As I said in the beginning of Steve Says, every episode, some people will hate, but most can relate. This is what a freak is. This is the framework of a freak. This is the freak code. Freedom, role model, enthusiasm, attitude, and kill. That is the freak. That is the way you need to be living if you want personal freedom. If you want every day to be a motherfucking good day and not let the days beat you down. Starting off the day with that type of of freak code mentality, that freak mentality, that unique, authentic mentality that you preach about, but are you fucking living that way? Are you living according to that? Are you embodying that in your everyday, in the way that you operate in your everyday life? Are you being your fucking self? Because if not, guess what? You're living someone else's fucking life. If you're not operating according to your priorities, you're operating according to someone else's priorities. If you're not being your freak self, you're being a fucking fraud. It's either freak or fraud, motherfucker. Take your pick. The, 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 the line is drawn in the motherfucking sand. Freak or fraud. Pick a side because we're going to war with the frauds. Where are my freaks at? Let's do it. Fucking freedom. It is personal freedom. That's really what it breaks down to. The F leads away. Motherfucking freedom. Willing to live for it, willing to die for it, willing to kill for that fucking freedom. That's what you need to be thinking. It's the freak framework, the freak way of life, the freak motherfucking code. Tell me, what do you stand for? Put it down there in the comments. Tell me what you stand for. Tell me if you are one of us freaks. And listen, if you need help, to determine your direction, your, your trajectory, the direction you need to go in, how to operate as yourself, how to operate with personal freedom, how to set these type of boundaries in your life, how to have control of your life, how to have more discipline, how to have more energy, how to have more confidence, 
how to be an action taker, and how to be your freak motherfucking self, let's talk about some coaching programs that could possibly help you. Let's jump on the phone, send me a private message, let's talk about it, let's help you operate to dominate in your mind, your body, and your business. So you can live life on your own fucking terms. Damn right be a control freak. Damn right. So let's talk about it. I gotta run. Be a freak. Be a fucking freak. Wave your freak banner. Wave it high. Wave it proud. And don't let anyone take that away from you. That's something no one could take away from you. No one could take away away your, your freedom. No one could take away your being a role model. No one could take away your enthusiasm. No one could take away your attitude. The way you carry yourself. The way you approach situations. Be your freak motherfucking self. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.